Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I had Donkey Kong Country up that whole time. Or did <laughs> I? No, no, I didn't. Okay. Never mind. Ignore what I just said. Welcome back to Star Ocean Part 13. Uh, for the second time. Yeah. Uh, uh. I, I don't know what happened with the first recordings, but Part 13 through 17 got fucked up somehow. Everybody else except me sounded like a goddamn robot. <laughs> And to, re to, uh, to, I don't know the fucking word, um, to fix this problem, I was trying to think of a smart word, but it didn't come out because I'm not smart, uh, to, uh, to fix the problem, we are now all using audacity. Yes, that is why the Mega Man 2 part, oh, fuck it, I'm not even doing that, no, that's why the Mega Man 2 part sounds really good in audio, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to talk like this the entire part 13. All 48 minutes of it. Or, I'm sorry, all 47 minutes. All 48 minutes and 13 seconds. <laughs> 13? <laughs> 13, yes, 13 seconds. You have a problem with my accent? <laughs> no. It's a mix of Dracula from Hotel Transylvania and the stereotypical German. I do not go blah, blah, blah. Your face will be in the throne room as soon as you can, you fucking cunt. Let's get moving, lady. I don't have time for any I fucking hate this guy. Fucking F Irish? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Alright, top of the morning to you. Uh, my name is Jack Septic Guys. <laughs> I didn't know Jack Septic was a Star Ocean fan. I don't even know Everywhere if Jack Septic fucking Someone's knows about Star Ocean. I doubt it. <laughs> shows up one day. Hi, my name is Jack Septic and I'm playing Shining Force. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> What Invite me! I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm relieved to see you back, Leon. How did the he says in he says dolls? gritting his teeth. <laughs> Your mom is glad to see you back, yeah, Leon. You right now, I certainly couldn't give two shits. To give uh, Leon credit, he actually has I a pretty decent voice. Promise, right, then. Hey, he's not an annoying twelve-year-old. He's an annoying fourteen-year-old. <laughs> Wait, he's fourteen. I have no idea. No, he's uh, I he was twelve. 12. He, he's twelve. What the fuck is you? What? Okay then. I says as I scream as the SAO message goes off on my phone. <laughs> it's it's even funnier on mine because my uh my phone tone like text message shown as uh from Hyperdimension of Tunia. You've received a text message. <laughs> Am His I expertise, he's a fucking 12-year-old boy. What does he know that you don't? You guys suck if he knows more than you do. How should I deal with you? I'm just going to pick a different accent every time I talk. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Now, it's been a while since we did commentary on Star Ocean. What, what happened last part? Uh... I know, I know that we took Leon. Uh, I mean, sorry, Bitch Boy over somewhere. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, ba I'm trying to backtrack. We did the Hoffman ruins. Ten was the Lacour Tournament of Arms. Eleven was Linga and the Sanctuary of Linga, which would mean twelve is getting, uh, letting go of Bowman, going back to Lacour. Finding out it's all that, taking oh, him to the Hoffman to the ruins, coming. Okay, the last part was probably all Hoffman ruins. Then I, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Took me that long, Jesus. Yeah, it's been like a few weeks since we last did commentary on uh, Star Ocean because yes. I think I think the the audio fuck up just kind of put a damper on all of our moods. <laughs> yeah, considering these parts are at average half an hour long. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I ha I'm having fun, honestly, but it's like the everybody else was getting drained. I, I, love it. I love this game. I will do this game by my goddamn self if I have to. Traitor. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I said if I have to. I'll be here, I mean. Like, I, I'm loving this game. Like I said, I love Star Ocean 3 to death, so. Hmm. Senator Armstrong loves Star Ocean 3. And no one's gonna get that joke. For those who are wondering, my current Skype profile picture is Senator Armstrong. Senator Armstrong from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Nano Machine, son! <laughs> Played college ball, you know. Yay. My guy is paralyzed and he increased to level 8. Sorry, I'm playing... 
I'm while while playing my favorite RPG of all time. I'm practicing for the recording. My second favorite my RPG friends. of all time, Shining Force Three. <laughs> okay, third. I forgot about Final Fantasy IV. <laughs> you know what? Fuck that. This is my second. I forgot how good this game is. But don't worry, I still know what's going on in the parts. Uh, in this part, if we just got back from the Hoffman ruins, that means we have to go to the Lacor front lines. Um, is this the last part, or... No, no, no. I go to the Lacor front lines, finish the front lines, get washed up on L, and then part 14 starts, and... Oh, download it. Uh, part 14 starts, uh, and that's when we go through L, uh, Aluria Tower, and then end up on Need, and that's the last part of the first half of the game. That's right. Yeah. So your top, so your top three RPGs are uh, Final Fantasy IV, Star, uh, Star uh, Shining Star Force, Second and Story, Shining Force Three, and Final Fantasy IV. I started for some reason. I forgot what I was say, <laughs> but uh, yeah, mine are, uh, well, Star Ocean Three is obviously there. Uh, as is, it really fluctuates depending on my mood, I guess. But like my, but Star Ocean Three is always in there. As yeah. of now, but uh, Final Fantasy IX, I want to say is in there as well. You know what just occurred to me? What? I can turn my volume out. We're recording on Audacity. Audacity isn't picking up my system sounds. Hopefully. Theoretically. That would really <laughs> suck. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's picking anything up, though. Oh my god, shut up! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you could hear that. I could somewhat hear it, but it's not that big a deal. Let me go ahead and turn that down a little bit. Okay, so DS hasn't joined our party yet, yeah. I uh, know, DS joins our party this part. Oh, hurrah! And you do air slash spamming for a while, and then you go back to using Claude. Yep. <laughs> and let me give you let me give you a fair warning, ladies and gentlemen. The next few parts in battles, when we have to rehab DS, will be air slash, air slash, air slash, air slash. <laughs> you see, the difference between everybody else and me is I enjoy that because it makes me laugh. <laughs> and if I had, if I had showed off everything uncut for part twenty four. Uh, that part would not be 50 minutes long. It would be probably two hours long. No, God. <laughs> uh, what, what does a, a final part cover? Obviously the final boss, or does it just cover the ending? Uh, the final part covers... Does it cover... No. The final part covers... G uh, give me a minute. Do, 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 do. I can tell just by looking at the thumbnail. Part 24 encompasses part th uh, level 13 of the final floor. Uh, and then, oh, that's right, it's in the middle. It encompasses part 13 of the, of the uh, optional dungeon. Uh, I go through, get all the treasure chests. Then I go through... Uh, then I go through Fun City, get everything I need to uh, get everything I need to get there. Um, then I uh, then I go through uh, insert the optional uh, boss after defeating that, and then we go through the final boss in the end of the game. There. Ah, uh, you say it was uh, fifteen minutes long or fifty? Fifty five zero. Okay, <laughs> I thought I heard you say fifty. I was like, what? <laughs> no, no part in this game is under twenty five minutes long. I. That's why I felt so weird when we recorded Mega Man, uh, Mega Man Two, and uh, Donkey Kong Country. They were like because the parts minutes. were so short. Yeah, compared to these, I, they're manageable, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I like this game, so well, what, watching it rather, I haven't played it yet, so as of this you... recording. Yeah, trust me, you need to play it. I'm gonna make Shining Force look boring and tedious, but it's really not. You can you you, uh, you, you can get away in Shining Force, which is uh, leveling everybody up one level per battle, yeah. promoting, and then going through the rest of the game and being just fine. I'm just being overly cautious because I want to make this game bend over. <laughs> oh God! Why do you go and attack her? Are you f fuck? Sorry. <laughs> Up the stairs we go. <laughs> Look at Zeus! Wait, did Rainy just teleport to the other side of the room? It looked like she did. Uh, I, w what happened there is, um, I tried, I, I tried to make that seamless, but what had happened is somewhere during, um, uh, s somewhere during while I was away, uh, I was helping my mom cook dinner. 
uh, because my stepfather was away at school, so I help her around the house, help out around the house a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I did is I went to help her cook dinner. Um, but when I got back, the um, uh, I hit my controller, uh, and so I had to quickly pause it. But she had already moved, um, and so I just had to edit out everything that I could. I, I edited out the pause screen, but she was already there. So uh, yeah. Oh well. Because I wasn't recording. Now the internet knows. Oh no, the internet knows. Whatever will I do? I'll leave it at that then, sir. Meanwhile, Dios just delivering some epic truthage. Sir, we're losing, aren't we? No, no. <laughs> yeah, we are. How what makes you say that? You're hiring outsiders. God damn it! <laughs> I thought Dios was a lone traveler. He is. Ah. Uh. He got recruited because uh, they need fighters, and you know, if you if you were paying attention to Mars Village, Dios, um, if you if, if you're a sword fighter, you know Dios's name. Yeah, he's like the most well-known swordsman, right, in all of uh, Expel, if yeah. I'm right. <laughs> except for you know, everybody we talk to doesn't know him, <laughs> except for the people in Mars. <laughs> well, why aren't you happy to see him? It's because of the fact that I like you, Reyna, and I kind of feel some weird tension between you and him. <laughs> but he I'm not saying that because I'm an RPG main character. He's like my brother to me. That's what they all say. Oh god. There's nothing more interesting than fucking your sibling. Yeah, yeah, there is. No, there's not. What? That's not normal here. Oh, I fucked up. Cause you want to fuck. Reina, I want to ask you something. Yes, what is it? <laughs> Why did Dias leave your village? Cause shit went down. Well, do you really want to know? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Mysterious voice. <laughs> then it just then Asher just shows up. Mm. Hey guys, what's up? Where the fuck do you come from? Maybe not. Come to think of it, I just met you at the armory contest. I guess it hasn't been that long, has it? Into each other, can we? I'M it's GOING TO RAPE YOU! <laughs> it well, seems like, it, it seems like at first, like, Claude and Dias utterly, well, obviously, they really don't like each other, but it seems like they kind of come to terms later. No, Claude hates Dias, um... Okay, I, sh I shouldn't say hate. Claude... ...is jealous of Dias. Uh, so it's more of a jealousy complex. Uh, it, it, it's because, um... Uh, Dias is such a better swordsman, and he really likes Reyna, but he doesn't want to say anything. Because, uh, you know, he, nobody knows he's from another planet yet, so he's convinced them that they're all just, he, he's from the planet, but he's not. We know this. But he's convinced everybody that he is, and he doesn't want to say anything because she, he thinks that she likes Dios when the complete opposite is true. He likes her. Uh, Reyna sees Dios as a friend. Dios has no feelings other than she's my little sister. So there's no romantic connection between them. Claude's putting that romantic connection there. And so he's jealous of that, plus uh, Reyna is always talking about how much of a better swordsman Dios is. And, you know, uh, he doesn't, Claude doesn't have a superiority complex, but he's still a teenager, so he wants to prove that he's better than anybody that's actually better than him. Yeah. And so, but by this point, he's gotten to know him enough. He trusts Reyna that she'll be a good idea, uh, that uh, Dios will be a good addition to the team. And so he's like, yeah, join us. I'd love to have you, man. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's a friendly rivalry. It's like Renji or Ichigo or Naruto and Sasuke after Sasuke is done having his bitch fit. So it's basically a slightly more light-hearted version of Fate and Albel's rivalry in Starship 3. Where it's really, like, their rivalry is something fierce. And let's just say fangirls like to ship them. Well, of course, they hate each other. That obviously means they have to fuck. Yeah, I mean, haven't you seen Durara, man? She's the one who's I totally want to fuck each other because she's the one completely throws vending machines at Isaiah out of love. Well, totally. I mean, that just makes, you know, just absolute fucking Funny. sense. There was a time yeah. When I hated to hear you say that. But, but no longer. more. Or no longer. I think that's because of Claude, isn't it? <laughs> the subtitles say Curtis. I was so tempted to say, damn it, Curtis! <laughs> I can't help it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am lonely. Help me! Dias, you are... 
Far more perceptive than any man I've met in this journey so far. <laughs> you are scarily close. Are you sure you're not the main bad guy? <laughs> that's that's the true plot of that's the true plot of Blue Sphere. <laughs> Dios, Dios is an omnipotent god just playing dumb. Actually, I think um, uh, well, I wouldn't say spoiler warning, but like. I think on Blue, uh, Blue Sphere, I think Claude takes Reyna, Dias, and a few others back to him to Earth. I don't know what happens there. All I know is I want to play it, but there's no translation. I can't do that. Is there even a fan translation, like on like paper? <laughs> not, not paper, web page. I don't know. I can probably somewhere. Probably not because it's a, it's not a very well known RPG, despite it getting another release. Uh, on a system that nobody had. I let him. <laughs> well, I mean, I, it is getting re-released on PS4 now. Blissphere? No, uh, Starship 2. Me, of but it sure really? Yeah, uh, PS4 and PS Vita was just announced a few days ago. That they're getting a PS4 release? Yeah. Mother... What? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> what? Ah, oh, then I could have played this legitimately, and I wouldn't have to worry about emulator bullshit. Wait, what are you talking about? I thought you were totally playing this on your real PSP. Oh right, I'm sorry. I, I was playing. Uh, I'm, I'm emulating this on my PSP, even though it's a PSP game, because I'm just that meta. <laughs> yeah, totally believe us, guys. <laughs> there's totally things on here that you could only. There's totally not things you can only do on a desktop here. <laughs> yeah, totally. Like the mouse. Fuck! Like, yeah, the mouse thing, right? Right? <laughs> totally. You think I fight because I let my family die right in front of me? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's exactly the reason. And it is. You've been blaming yourself for your family's death ever since, Dias. I know you have. <laughs> Try and deny it as you might. You know exactly the that you know full well that's exactly the fucking reason. But I'm the mysterious swordsman. But I don't. I can't help it, Reyna. I was programmed this way. <gasps> no! <laughs> Don't you fucking mention her name! Nice if you really were my sister. No. Mm -hmm. huh? Reyna, I will rip your throat out if you mention her name again. Cecile, <laughs> game over. The, <laughs> the game just ends there. Reyna dies. Dios runs away. Ash is like, "Fuck this shit!" And Claude goes on a murderous rampage, yes. trying to stop the Sorcery Globe. <laughs> it becomes Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> my fanfiction is canon. <laughs> Jay has joined the party. I mean, Dias has joined the party. Dias has joined the party! Stop downloading files, damn Skype! Fuck! Fuck you, fuck you! <laughs> I'm just going through menus here because I'm trying to I'm trying to get a quick of everything and then I realized oh wait I can't get shit from the um Oh no I can't get stuff from the weapons guy that's what I'm doing now that's right I forgot Yeah uh, you actually can't access this guy until the scene after uh after uh with with after Dioth <laughs> <laughs> Oh I was actually going to ask something but I'll wait until uh we're out of this menu actually uh actually no screw it I'll ask now um, on Re at Reyna, on Reyna's, uh, like, model, or yeah. sprite on the, uh, thing, there's a medal. Is that, like, what is that exactly? Like, right there. Hanging around her neck? Uh, no, hanging around, like, nearby her, uh, sprite. You'll see it. Right there? Uh, I, the gold thing in her hair? No, 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 like, not in her uh, hair. I, like, I'm you'll trying have to, to... Look right at the, look at, right at her, right beside the sprite. That little cross right there. Oh, that's the, um... Uh, that's an energy stone. Or, as we'll learn, um, next part, just because I'm going to spoil it right now. Uh, it's called a, um... I can't remember the name. The shit. <laughs> but what does it do? Is it just, like, display? Quadratic or? key. Uh, quadratic key. 
Uh. Um, quadratic key and the um, the quadratic sphere or the sorcery globe, as the people of Expel call it, uh, is an invention made by the ten wise men, which are the ten main bad guys of this game. Uh, and the purpose uh, the purpose she has that is because uh, when uh, the heraldic weapons laboratory, or in this version, the symbological weapons laboratory, explodes, which we'll find out in part. 15, part, part 16, and part 16, I, I, I believe it's 16, um, we find out that Raina's mother gave it to her after the Symbological Weapons Laboratory explodes, and she, uh, Raina's mother puts her in a box that teleports to expel, which is also the same box that teleports Claude to expel. Um, that, that's, that's the thing I said I was going to wait to explain, but I'll just explain it right now. When the Symbological Weapons Laboratory exploded, they'll explain that the, spa uh, the explosion and the uh, space-time displacement shield around it teleported all that crap to 700 billion... 700 million years into the future, and that is what the... Um, Pan Galactic Federation sent out Ronix and the Kalnus out to search, which is the planet uh, Milokinia, or Mirokinia in this version. Um, and that box is actually uh, the box that sent Reyna to expel. A lot of you are going to try and debunk my theory by saying, but nothing more than a child could fit in there. When the place exploded, the box exploded. But the tr but the tra- I don't know what I was doing there. But the trans- <laughs> uh, but the transporter from the box still worked. Somehow. That is why Claude gets sent to expel. It's not just a random coincidence, it's the same box that sent Reyna to expel. So in actuality, Planet Mirokinia was probably been there for, I don't know, a week? <laughs> Even though it's 700 million years old? Hmm. Time in space! So, it's, in my head hurts, it's confusing. Uh, which is why it's really funny um, when they find out that uh, Reyna is 700 million years old. Uh, because Claude and Reyna get together, which when you think about it, uh, puts Claude at 19 and Reyna at 700 million and 18 years old. <laughs> well, oh yeah, okay, right, in this version it's 18. Yeah. <laughs> in every other version, including the original PS1 version, she's 17. But because and, and this is American... Even, even including the Japanese PSP version, she's uh, 17. Yeah, but Americans... We have to change it to 18. Nobody understood what I just said there because I know I wasn't coherent. I didn't know what I was saying there. Oh, <laughs> uh, Lord. So wait, like, Reyna actually is that old. Is that how long Nidians live in general, or is it, like, just a space-time continuum thing? Uh, uh, reword that. I'm not quite sure what you're asking. Basically, uh, actually, wait. No, that was kind of dumb of me to ask, actually, now that I think about it. Joke, uh, Bort, because I was going to say, um, like... Is, is Reyna only, like, that many years old because of the fact that, you know, she was in that box for so many years? Or is she, like, that old just legitimately and she only, spent, like, stayed a little while in that box? But then I remembered, oh, right, we see child Reyna later with Westa, uh, her mother, or at least Expellian adoptive mother. Yeah, Reyna and, is uh, 17 yeah. in Earth years. All the ages besides Claude that I tell you guys are in Earth years because they couldn't bother giving these guys an age in whatever their thing is. But, based on my semi-educated guess on how they were saying that Expel was rotating, I'm going to say that their um, cycle is a lot longer than ours. So in actuality, Reyna would probably be like... 40? 9 or 10 in Expellian years. Oh, well, shit. That's Expellian years. She's legal in uh, Earth years. Well, shit. Like I said, that's my semi-educated guess. There's not enough information that is given to us in this game that tells us how it's rotating. The only thing we know is that it's thrown off its rotation uh, to crash into energy need. Alright, so, uh... This guy right now. This guy's a time fight, right? Yes, this is Zine. You fight him three times within the span of, like, well, in this case, two parts. You fight him this time, and it's a time fight. You have to survive for a minute. You fight him a second time on uh, on a boat when you guys are uh, getting ready to raid Illyria, uh, which, and that fight, you just have to kill you. you. You just have to let yourself die. You're not winning that fight. Which is the... One of two fights in the game where that happens. I almost said only, but then I remember then I remember Dios and the Lacor tournament of arms. Where you um, can't win no matter what you do. Yes, yeah, so you have to let Dios kill you. 
And then the third time is at the top of Valoria Tower, where there's no transition on how we got any stronger. We just did. And then we can do damage to him that time. Level grinding, it works one. I don't know. Well, I didn't level grind. I went up maybe one level. I love Claude's eyes. <laughs> did they yeah. see some shit? <laughs> Yeah, I, th I know, I th this is a time fight, so don't let people die. <laughs> well, okay, well, you can let a couple people die. Have at least two people. Time over. <laughs> I wanted to get in the last hit. <laughs> oh, Lord. I, I, might have I might have said this earlier, uh, while I really find paralysis kind of annoying in this game, it's basically a secondary, uh, like, petrification. No, no paralysis effect will ever be as annoying as in the Tales series because in the Tales games, when you're paralyzed, you will only like you will like run up to your enemy or you'll do like your action. Like if you press X, you can still move around and all. But if you press X or circle to do like your attacks and whatnot, you'll stutter sometimes, and it's annoying every time it happens. That happens in Shining Force Three too. Oh uh, boy, it, it, it's it, it's it's not as bad because it's turn based, unless Tales is turn based. No, Tales is action. Tails action. Okay, yeah, it's not as bad here because it's turn-based. So wh uh, when you attack, your character can either like uh, paralyze, or uh, even if you're paralyzed, you can attack. And then you can move your healer uh, or cleric in this case. Is she a cleric right now, or is she a what is she right now? <laughs> a priest. Uh, you can move Grace, uh, who is your priest, at the point of the game that I'm at. You also have Irene and Khan, who are master monks, or that's their promoted class, are monks, and I believe they can. Learn antidote, um, which cures poison and paralysis, uh, up to whoever. Uh, if you have enough agility, uh, move them up to the character and then um, uh, cast the antidote on them. The I see. Yeah. Reinforcements. Nice. But they're all so green. Half of them are. Uh, stop ruining my lines. <laughs> because we entrusted it to a 12 year old boy. We did what? <laughs> You're fired. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> Why am I fired? I didn't do anything. You didn't stop me. Oh. Now but sir, you're above me. Why am I in charge of you? Just go to the barracks. Get away from me. Aw, oh, man, that's a fit time this week. <laughs> oh, damn it. Why did I have to be born smart? <laughs> Why did I have to be born just smart enough to, to, to join the military, but still stupid enough to not move up? <laughs> uh. It is an RPG after all. <laughs> Why do I look like everybody else? Aw, oh, damn, I'm a minor character. <laughs> Thank you, have a good day. Oh my god, I'm an NPC. <laughs> oh my god, I'm an NPC. No! That realization. Oh, man. See, the, 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 that's the great thing about humans, I guess, is that we're all different. But can you imagine, like, when you find your double? <laughs> that's, that's, that's why twins would suck, because you know, you're, you, you know at that point you're an NPC. You're like... Shit, or you're in an MMO and then somebody decided to be a cheap fuck and rip off your avatar. <laughs> oh, oh, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> if you find your double like across the country, you're just like, oh, we're NPCs. <laughs> Shit. Oh, yeah, we are. NPCs. Good point. Forgot about Maybe I, for that's why racism it. exists. Because <laughs> nobody wants to be an NPC. As I just piss off everybody that's watching the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I mean, Where the fuck did that come from? I... Wait, but I've been told I look like the guy Ray from Rooster Teeth, so I guess I am an NPC. Fuck! I get told that at least you only have one person that looks like you. I get I get told I look like a lot of people, so I'm just like, oh, I'm not even a major NPC. I'm just a minor NPC. <laughs> oh, I well, uh, I guess I could be subverted if you. have uh, if you play Tales of the Abyss, but I don't want to spoil that. Because <laughs> they're clones the in that game. Ah. Aka okay, replicas. If you've ever heard of Tales of the Abyss, you've probably heard of the replica meme. 
Everybody said but, you know. wave at us. I can't believe how quickly this is all happening. Where where are they? Where is the next wave, Raida? Oh, yeah, I was about to ask that. Thank Not you, Claude. <laughs> be more than ten minutes away. It comes thirty seconds later. Oh, yeah, there they go. <laughs> they came more than ten minutes away. Shows up. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I just like you. Well, I was off by about uh, nine minutes and thirty seconds. <laughs> I was off by about nine minutes and fifty-five seconds. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, don't ever trust me to don't ever trust me to keep things on time. And Diaz leaves the party. <laughs> Diaz, I need this report in by Monday. Cool, Friday. Diaz, where's the report? Or report? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> And that's why Diaz is a wandering swordsman. <laughs> Diaz, you're fired. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Going back to his conversation. You think I fight because I couldn't protect my family? Flashback. Diaz, you're fired. Diaz, you're fired. Diaz, you're fired. Diaz, you're fired. <laughs> that is totally the reason I travel. Yeah. You know what? I find it absolutely funny. Like, nowadays, like, back then, wandering swordsmen? Badass motherfuckers. Nowadays, if they're, like, wandering people, you're hobos. <laughs> Like, what? Okay. <laughs> By the way, look at this weird CG mixed with this weird 2D. It really looks weird, but magical at the, the same time. The wizard is 2D, that object is 2D, but the cannon is 3D. Haven't you ever seen Princess Mononoke? They do that shit all the time in that movie, except it doesn't look as weird here. I've never that understood cannons scene. that, like, the energy gets sucked in, then gets fired out. I mean, I understand how it works, but why? And then this explodes backwards. What? Who knows? Oh, let me reiterate what I said. Okay, it looks weirder here. Princess Mononoke looks amazing. Don't shoot me, Mononoke fans. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. I love that movie. Don't, don't, don't hurt me. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. The liqueur, hope. Thank you, bitch boy. <laughs> was that the liqueur? Hope? No, that was my breakfast. It finally came out. I really had to fart. Okay then. <laughs> that's that's a hell of a fart. Get him away! Get him away! Get him away! Get him away! <laughs> Just giant explosion. Kaboom! Well, there you have it. The Lucor Hope. Pretty impressive, isn't it? The Thunder Arrow is like the Lucor Hope. <laughs> you made that? Exactly. For reference, Thunder Arrow is uh, a weapon in Stars until the end of time that they used to fight against an enemy kingdom. Cool. Wait, till the end of time, or the last hope? Till the end of time. Okay. Did I, I say the last hope? Uh, you, no, I think you said till the end of time. I just, I, I was confused. I'm like, but I thought you said you didn't play 4. No, I played a bit of 4, just not much of it. 4 is really hard to level grind. Not because it's hard, but because it's tedious. Because the world is huge, and you're so fucking tiny. <laughs> yeah, they give you that sprint skill for a reason. Yep. But hey, to be fair, the game does look good. Uh, except yeah. the bloom effects make your eyes bleed. There's a reason the world is so big. It's because it's so it's because so they can zoom out, so they didn't have to put detail in anything. Oh, you're the Hacha. Put oh, it there. Wait. It'll look good. <laughs> wait, uh, Murdoch and uh, yes, the woman yes. there. Those those are Leon's parents, right? Oh, yes, the blue and pink-haired woman are Leon's parents. Wait, blue? That guy's green hair. Does he have green hair? Yeah. Oh. Did they did they change it? I could have sworn he had blue hair in the PS1 version. Huh. I was about to say, is Leon adopted? <laughs> oh, don't you know? Green and pink, uh, green and pink make blue. Cosmo and Wanda, son of a bitch. <laughs> Even though... Oh... Why did that never... Damn it! Damn it, Mojo! Damn it! <laughs> Twice! What aside from the fact that creepy weaver on different sides fashion? Oh, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> Raffs in the background. <sighs> yes, and ladies and gentlemen, I intended to say Raffs, not laughs. Raffs. Oh, Raffs like laughs. I, you said Raffs for some reason. I thought uh, Raphael. <laughs> No, teenage no. Mutant Ninja, Ninja Aliens. Turtles. Teenage oh. Mutant Ninja Aliens. Ninja yep. Mutant Ninja Aliens. For some reason, Cosmo and Wanda. Why the fuck? <laughs> Even though everybody in this picture, except Claude, Reyna, and Leon, are over the age of 23. We have finally reached the point of no return. 
Yeah. Cloud Wait. is 19, Rain is 18, Leon's fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but how old is Ashton? Ashton's... Oh wait, no, he's twenty, isn't he? Strategy. Yeah, he guide. looks like he's he looks like he's about uh he looks like he's about the age of Claude. Could have sworn he was twenty three. Twenty. Okay, I'm sorry. Everyone in that room was over the age of twenty. I'm as old as Ashton. Hooray, and I'm as old as well Reyna in this version. You're seventeen? Uh, oh, well, okay, I'll be 17 in like a month. You're as old as Precious. Fuck off. <laughs> well, okay, wait, I said this version. This version of Rain is 18. Well, in the, fuck it, she's 17 regardless, whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost 17, I'll be 17. Uh, oh, actually, uh, it's almost September 20th in my time, uh, about a month. <laughs> cool. Yay, I like leveling places. But what would that mean to everybody on L, though? <laughs> They're gonna die, bitch! <laughs> They're all died. I apologize. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, Your mom's in the plan of operations? Oh! Subcommandant. Then yep, sub-commander. But I don't want to fire the Lacor Hope Wait, that, that, that commandant guy in the very back right of the king, well, our right, he looks kind of like uh, the, the sprite of uh, Claude's dad, who we'll see later. Well, I think so. Yeah, he looks kind of like him, don't you think? I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if they reused the sprite, but... Well, no, the robe is different. Well, yeah. Uh, it's probably recolored. Ronix looks... Ronix has, like, the look of the sub-commandant, but the sprite without the fatness of the, um, of the commandant. Mm. It's, a, it's a unique sprite, so they didn't copy anything. It's just a mixture uh, okay. of both of those. Uh, I was about to say, like, is it, I wouldn't be surprised. But then again, no. In fact, I think everyone on this ship is a is a unique sprite now that I think about it. Yeah, the same way in Starship until the end of time. Actually, well, on the on a uh, the uh, the Diplo, the, that's the ship in that game. Uh, they have all sorts of random. They all have all they have all sorts of models, including Steve, who just randomly shows up in a cutscene. <laughs> It's funny because like it's like it's like you don't see this character named Steeg. Like he's he's a minor character. You don't see this character named Steeg at all on the Diplo or in a cutscene before. And then Cliff just randomly goes, "You're coming with us too, Steeg." And then she just goes, "Okay." And it's like, "Who the fuck are you?" I'll be sure to point that out when we get to till the end of time. But it's like he just shows up. It's like, "Okay." It's like, "Where did you come from?" I was paid to be here. <laughs> I, I I just walked in. I, 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 I was on my way to my seat. The door was open. <laughs> I, I I saw a sign that says free food. I followed it in. There was nobody here, so I sat down like, next, next. And I'm like, oh, okay, that must be me. I walked in, tried out, got the part. Very imprudent perspective. It's actually funny because that's the way he says a lot. He sounds like he's just like, like, bewildered. He's like, okay. <laughs> it's literally a guy that just walked in. Hey, your voice sounds interesting. Let's make you a character. In what? A, th a video game. Cool. And then it just, they click record. Okay. <laughs> Because that's the only line I think he has that's voiced. It's just okay? Yeah, just okay. <laughs> the producers literally reached outside, grabbed somebody, say you like your most apathetic okay. Okay, here's 200 bucks. Go. Sweet. I, I, I think that's his only line. I don't know. I'm not sure. He just randomly shows up, though. I don't mean to be admitting it at a horse, but it's like, what? And then there's also... Uh, I think his name is Li Liber, Liber, whatever, who as can, who do totally doesn't have the hots for Maria. But that Casey, we'll Casey Liber, what? <laughs> all right. We'll save that for Starship 3. Shia 30 years from now. Actually, what will be the next Starship game that we do? do like, do you want to do Nail at the end of time next, or do you want to do Starship 1 next, or 4? Uh, if you record uh, till the end of time before I record 1, we'll do the end uh, till the end of time. All right then. I I know I want to do four and five last, even though four is technically first. Yeah, and three is like the last game in the series. This is the second to last until five. Yeah, chronologically anyway. Yeah, the order goes uh four. Uh four one two five three. Yeah. 
Speaking of five, uh, there was a new pick up a new trailer for uh, Integrity and Faithlessness uh, yep. on the Tokyo Game Show, and it looks amazing. And I am more hyped for the game than ever. At least seven person party, man. Seven people in your party. How cool is that? That is awesome. You know what's even cooler? What? As as you said, there's a new uh, trailer for Star Ocean and Integrity and Faithlessness. Uh, my guy learned the, his second special move for his rapier. Now I can finally move on to his best weapon, the sword. Hello. That, gi that gives him an attack boost because it's his specialty Wait, weapon. Is, is this okay? I was about to say, is his special weapon just literally named the sword? No, just like no badass name, like Sword of Destruction. No, no, no. Uh, actually, the best sword in Shining Force Three to go off topic is the Justice Sword. Hold on, I have the weapons. I thought I had the weapons guide out. Uh, Shining Force 3 Best Weapons. I hope the mic didn't pick that up. No, that was perfect. <laughs> 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 Fucking the charge, charge of the uh, charge of the cannon. Ninety-eight point eight, uh, ninety-eight point ninety percent ready. Fire! You got a text message. Is it evil in nature? I love that song. <laughs> yeah, it's a great song. Still not my favorite. Was one of the parts that we lost one of the parts where I went over my song preferences? Uh, maybe? I don't know, what the... Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go to bridge version. My favorite song in the game is Star Ocean Forever because you have to work so hard to get it and it only plays in one area of the game and that's after you beat the, uh, the optional, the, the boss of the optional final dungeon. Uh, my second favorite song is Tangency, which you fight after fighting the second of the ten wise men uh, in, in the role you fight him. And then my third is probably Stab the Sword of Justice. The battle theme of the yeah. game, yeah. Do, 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 I love, I love how it's called those stab the sword of justice, not stab with the sword of justice. Just I, I, stab the sword of justice. Just stab the sword of justice and fuck you, police. Ah! Sudden anime cutscene. Yep. Oh, knife, katana, horn, halberd, glove, claw. Blade. Blade, blade, blade. Here they come again. Uh, the best blade, which is Julian's best weapon, is the Force Blade. Uh, the best... This is bad. Oh, it goes in order. Okay, so I need to... Rape here and then sword. So I need to go down. The best rape here, which is... Um, Median's best weapon, is the Arc Rape here. Uh, yeah, you just need to kill yourself uh, for this one. And then, um, the sword, is, the best sword is the Shining Sword. I don't know, I don't remember why I was looking that up, but... Mojo, are you there? Yeah, I'm still here, sorry. Texting okay. my mother. <laughs> okay, because it went quiet, did I lose you? Oh no, I died. <laughs> it says game over. Wait a minute. I wasn't supposed to lose that. Whoops. Guess I'm doing this on my own. You have no idea. You are being lured here for that weapon of yours. I'm convinced this guy and the final boss are voiced by the same guy. That could be intentional. Because he sounds just like... Leon, hang on. I don't remember his name. I love how they run off and not just jump off. Well, they technically jump. Just sprites. Um, Forget it. I'm sure they're dead by now. Star Ocean 2... Voice... Actors. There aren't many crew left alive. I want to say it's not Spike Spencer. I want to say going Richard Epcar. That's right. Unfortunately, sign isn't listed on the BTVA this page, so I don't know if they're voiced by the same person. We needed. I have the energy stone. We are done here. Yeah, they have nothing, nothing left, left to confront us with. with. Victory well. is ours. I don't know why they were scared. That's what I'm confused about. Is why they were scared. Um. Uh. 
Probably because reasons. But I mean, you saw the Lacor. Uh, the Lacor Hope had I'm no effect on Zion. Sign. Yeah. How do you want to pronounce that? Uh, sign. Yeah. Mom. Or could never mind. I... It, it, it was. It, it was. Um. It's like. Well, how, how is it spelled in fucking? Uh, the PS1 version. To the strategy guy. It always confused me who was talking to Raina right here because there wasn't any voice acting. Uh, in the PS1 version, but now I know it's the mom. Yeah, it's Raina's actual mother, right? Yes. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest, that's kinda freaky. <laughs> uh, the boss's name in the PS1 version was Shin, actually. S-H-I-N. And, can you guess what he was strong against? Do 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 No, I was asking you. I don't know. <laughs> everything. Jesus. Absolutely everything. You serious? Jesus. Except it, except physical attacks, because obviously, yeah, there? it's kind of hard to be strong against physical attacks because they can do damage to you. But uh, uh, all all kinds of magic, he he was strong too. Ah. Uh, you could still do damage, just you know, not as much. Wait, did they just give us a flashback of something that just happened like five seconds ago? We well, to us it happened five seconds ago. It's probably been a while, at least a few hours. And Reyna had to try and remember what happened to her because she just kind of washed up. You know, I kind of want to cosplay Ashton now, like now, and I really want to do that, but I'm really worried about how I'm gonna pull off creepy and weepy. You install lights, and every time you turn around, you switch the lights. <laughs> oh, I forgot to switch to the fucking sword. Damn it! Ignore me. I'm not talking about the game. He can't be too far away. I mean, I imagine that, like, if you put like metal poles or whatever. Or metals like what whatever you call them, the 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 metal the things that bend the metal the metal things that bend or whatever, like if you put those in the dragons or parts and like wrap them around your shoulders, just as long as you don't move your shoulders too much, yeah, you got a perfect cosplay. Yeah, pretty much. That's right. Wouldn't do to get ourselves killed before we even find Claude. Yeah, I have my sword now, which already has its first level. Uh, first level special move. So now all I gotta do is learn the second level special move. So, question. If you have somebody other than, like, the, you know, uh, if you have more people than, like, you do here, um, do some of them end up with Claude, or does Claude pretty much alone regardless? Claude is always alone unless you're playing as him, in which case he wakes up with Reyna. Oh, really? Uh, if you have, um, the, if you have every other, well, Okay, if you have um, Reyna, Claude, Reyna, Dios, I'm sorry, uh, Claude, Reyna, Celine, Ashton, um, and did I say Celine? I think you did. Claude, Reyna, Celine, Ashton, Bowman, and Dios, um, they'll all be there. Dios will still be the one to talk, but I think it'll be Bowman. Uh, to tell Reyna that he hasn't washed a sore yet. But Dios, I believe, will always talk. Um, if you have... Um, if you're playing as Reyna and you have... Um, Claude, Reyna, Celine, Opera, Ernst, Pressis, uh, and Dios, I think it's... I think it's Ashton in that case that actually tells Reyna that she hasn't washed a sore. That makes sense. Um, if you have Claude, you wake up with Leon. So, yeah. Tune in next part, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. where we shall hopefully find Claude. Yeah. Bastigation into the sorcery room. The king of Claude. Hey, he doesn't believe us, of course. Is that why you're here? Well, he, he doesn't show that he doesn't believe us. He doesn't believe us. Yeah. Until later.